It is somewhat humbling to consider that of 254 counties in Texas, every marriage license, land purchase, financial and legal transaction is recorded and stored behind the walls of these stately centerpieces of small town life. In Brownfield, every who, what, when, where, how, and why of Terry County rests here. Debbie Reed in the county clerk's office has the daunting task of overseeing the mountains of paperwork for their little corner of the South Plains. Hi, I'm Hi. Debbie Reed. Hi, Debbie. Kelly Phillips. Hi, Kelly. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm cool. good. Hi, Bob. Come on back here. Yeah, this is all of our books from about 1889. There's my artifact. It's a lot of years old. Well, this isn't as big as all these. Oh, no, no, no. Is this a deed? This is just more important. What is this? This is skip bow cards. <gasps> skip bow. You can tell we played with them so long that the gold wore off. These are, they were purchased right after it came out. The lady that started it lived here and let me flip my skip bow cards over for a moment. If you'll notice on these, she put her her phone number and her P.O. box. And this is the lady right here? Mm-hmm. Everybody called her Skip. That's where that was, that's where these came from. So skip Bow. Skip was mm -hmm. her nickname. Bowman. Mm-hmm. The skip first bow. part of Skip Bow. Mm-hmm. And it gone. caught on like wildfire. It was Friday night and no place to go. So the gang and me took out a deck of skip -o. We were shooting the breeze. We were having fun. Before we knew it was a quarter to one. skip -o. some people have it, some people don't. This game, now sold worldwide by Mattel, had its humble beginnings with Minnie Hazel Bowman in Brownfield. It was in the 1960s and skip -bow was about to catch on outside this tiny town's limits. The folks at the courthouse sent us around the corner and down the street to find the unofficial historian of all things skip -bow. Well, hello. Are you Miss Nicholson? I am. I want to know about skip -bow. I'm the only one that knew Skip Bowman because everybody else has either died or moved. <laughs> Can you teach me how to play? Sure. All right, let's, let, where are we going to do this? Why don't we do it in the Skipmo building? Absolutely. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, Patsy Nicholson knows well that we got to have a fourth player, and in Brownfield, that's never hard to find. Right. So we need a fourth, right? Is that what this? Two that's what two. you and your wife are for. Well, <laughs> oh, we're Us playing. Two against you sure. Two. Wait, we're going to teach y'all how to play. Crystal, my granddaughter, is Bob's partner, and I'm partnering with Kelly. And just like that, we headed to Tincha's Lunchbox that's been serving fine Mexican food for decades right there in the original Skip Bow headquarters. This building is actually a historic landmark. Not only is this the best Mexican food in town, this is also the birthplace of America's best pastime. When Ms. Bowman sold her card game, she made a stipulation in the sale that the word skip bow never be taken off the walls forever. This one. I know when I was little, I would go with Ms. Bowman all the time and just spend the days with her. So um, yeah, she was, she was, she was a sweet lady. Skip bow is not a hard game to play. In fact, my mother played cards with Skip Bowman and they called it Spite and Malice. And then she invented the game and got it, got the patent on it, and it went crazy all over. All right, so what's the, who, who okay, has to play? It's my turn and I'm Well, if you weren't to, talking so much, you'd play. Well, I'm fixing to go crazy. Look at that. How convenient. Are you, are you cheating already? <laughs> OMG. Oh, what, yeah. What? You can use it as anything. I can use this as anything. Yep. She sold it for a million dollars. I know, right? And that was. A million dollars? Yes. Back in the and 70s, that was in the lot. 70s. That's a lot right now. And that was a lot back then. It's Why did she sell it? Because they gave her a million dollars. <laughs> no, she sold it for a million dollars. And we were all in total awe around here. How much would you take for this box? They're not for sale. Oh, come on. Everything's, now. Everything's for, for sale. sale. No, 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 no. 
A million bucks uh, in a paper sack? No, I don't think so. No, 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 no. 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 It's easy to get okay. caught up in the atmosphere inside the building where this iconic American pastime originated. Seems that after so many years, the brutal West Texas weather has chiseled away on the game of the day for all to play. Now, as far as people like Patsy, Crystal, and Debbie are concerned, these worn out cards are a touchstone to the past. Once you learn it, you just can't get enough of it. If I had a chance to talk to Skip Bowman, my first thing that I would say to her is thank you. Ace. Two. Three. three. We won! High five! That's, they, won. they won? They did. Fair and square. Yes. They both got rid of their stockpile, so they won as a team. Well, just in time for the lunch rush, I think they kind of want us out of here. <laughs> I leave these on my desk all the time. And every time anybody comes in, they say, you've still got skip bow cards? I say, yeah, touch them and you're dead. <laughs> <laughs>